There's no marrying at Talos Tarot. There is no marriage here. No, unfortunately, I'm very much still alive. Unfortunately, still kicking. Cause hello, it's Talis Tarot in the house, baby. And I'm reading today for all the signs, baby. The Wizard of Oz. I personally think Return to Oz is way better than the original Wizard of Oz. That's just more darker and more crazy. All right. All right. So I just got done doing OnlyFans, all signs, whatever comes out. And here I am to do the true intentions of whatever bitch you're thinking of. All right. Now, I will not point out whether this is past or new. I'll just tell you the intentions of the person and we'll see. Well, thank you. Raising awareness. I wish. I actually saw the winner of American Idol at the airport, that Hawaiian guy. I'm like, that's that guy for freak the one he won American Idol. I'm like, what? He didn't, even, he didn't even, Rupert didn't even wait for me to get situated. He just jumped right into it. <laughs> oh my God. Are you serious? Okay, let's get the Aries. Rupert, get the, get a damn life. Didn't, you say you just had a newborn. Why aren't you tending to your baby? You on here uh, trolling with me. All right. I look horrible in that bitch. <laughs> All right. I look horrible in that. Okay, here we go. All right. <laughs> All right, here we go. What is this person's true intentions, whether they're new or old? What is this person's true intentions toward the zodiac sign of Aries? For the person on their mind, what is this person's true intentions toward the zodiac sign of Aries? This person on their mind. Oh my God, this person truly loves you, bitch. Their intentions are true. I don't care how they've acted. They harbor these deep ass emotions for you. So if they're new, they're already seeing you as the one. If there's somebody that you already know, well, oh, okay. I got, okay. They feel a bit guilty. This person did some very un unbecoming things. I think they want closure with you because they feel deep, these deep ass emotions, but there's like, they know they have things they feel guilty about or that they didn't do very well. All right, I'm gonna try to figure out what. So this is probably somebody that you, if they're new, they have a thing for you. I'm gonna put that out there. If it's somebody that you have a history with and there was a history there, I feel like this person has deep ass emotions for you and I think they're feeling guilty. I think the guilt uh, eats this person up. 
like there's things they wish they would have did better. I don't know what. It's just telling me what it's, you know, okay. So why is, okay, so why does this person feel about Aries? They have financial issues. They could be having financial problems, folks. There was a part of them that didn't feel like they were good enough for you. I play mind games to hold your interest and to make you want me more. They're regretting that they did all those games because they realized it pushed you out of their life or it's pushing you out of their life, whether it's going on currently or whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. See, this person, I don't get, see, they're, they're not a horrible person, but they have a bad issue with control. And one thing they were trying to do with you was control you. Like, and see, the unfortunate thing is the impression they gave you was somebody who was deceptive or attention seeking for some of you. I don't know if that makes any sense. Or it just seemed like they were not that great intended. They didn't have great intentions. I think that some of you, they feel guilty about how they came off. Oh, I'm not connected to this read at all. There's an element of, I don't think this person's intentions are bad. I don't. I think the what they showed you before was not that great. And now they're like having to sit in the storm that they created. All right. Is what I feel. You know that saying by, I saw it, it's in that song by Adele, but I created this storm and now I got to sit in the rain. So they created a storm with you. Now they got to sit in the rain of the storm they created. Who gives a fuck, right? But I'm telling you, their true intentions is to offer you love, but I also think they want to own up to some things. Seven of Swords reverse is guilt, typically. It's like, I don't know if they were found out or I don't know, maybe they're just looking at parts of themselves. You know, they don't feel like they came at you the best way. How did they come towards you before this read? Oh, the friend zoning. Some of you, they regret friend zoning you or if it's not that, okay, this is very specific. If it's not friend zoning, they didn't treat you very serious before. They kind of left you with the impression they didn't take you seriously or the connection serious. They acted very all about themselves before. Okay, this person's looking at their ways and how they acted. I'm sorry, it's one story. So whether it was literally a friend zone or just they made you not feel they made you feel like you, they didn't take you serious or the connection serious. In fact, the, the, the energy they were showing you was before was emperor reverse. They may have been kind of mean or dismissive or, ooh, there's things they regret. I don't know what it is. I think that, honestly, I don't feel like they're bad intended. I feel like they have an intention to, I want to say they want to offer you love, but they also want to kind of own up to some things. Seven of Swords reverse is guilt. So some of they may be harboring guilt that they want to work through with you or talk about with you, 401s. Some of they want a relationship. Who gives a fuck? What's the outcome? Them coming back. Them sticking with you. Them coming back. They're going to own up, step up. This person's going to step up to you. Remember how I said they feel like maybe they're, they may have a little bit of insecurity issues. All right. Take that as you want. I don't know if that makes any sense. Come on, get this live stream started. What's going on? I think they feel I think they feel guilt for how they acted before or how they were before. Now they're like wanting to come forward and offer you emotions. Whereas in the past, before this read, you may have felt like they were not taking this connection serious or you serious. Some of you was it, it, some of you was like a friend zoning thing. If not that, it's like they have regrets for a certain thing they did, and they want closure to because I feel like they're like stuck in a they're stuck in this like mindset of like guilt or doing the shoulda coulda wouldas. They wish they would have approached you differently. Some of they regret the mind games they were playing. Some of they're aware of the mind games they were playing, like they're very they're, you know so I'm saying so. That's what it's telling me. All right, let's go to Taurus now. But they will come back or stick with you is what it says. Eight of Cups reverses the outcome. All right, who gives a fuck? 
Let's go to Taurus now. From LA to San Francisco, I lost my mind in San Bernardino. Can't remember the lyrics. Jula Vista, who gives a fuck? What in the fuck? You just run to the one of the one who or run to the arms of the one who loves you. Taurus, somebody's trying to run to you. We'll see if that the cards back that up, but okay. All right, Taurus, what is this person's true intentions toward you? This can go either way. Some of this to open up. That's the card of opening up typically, but mm, do they want to open up upright, reverse, no. No, they're actually their intentions to let your ass go because you throw them off. You kind they kind of feel like you emotionally throw them off balance. I know you may not agree with that. I get it. Why the justice reversed? If you're expecting them to like try to own up, work things out, not going to happen, at least not right now. All right. Um, They're trying to let this shit go and they have a hard time letting it go. All right. So their intentions is to let it go. How does this person feel about Taurus? They feel like you are like flexing on social media or they think that you're doing things on social media to get at them. Or some of you, they're trying to get at you on social media. Take that as you want. I think they're more so in a blaming energy towards you. Some of they're drinking to numb the pain that this situation calls them. Whether they're a drinker or not, there's something they're doing to cope with this situation with you. Like it hurt them, they feel hurt, or they feel what happened? Why are they so about why are they feeling like this? Why is this person feeling like this? Queen of Wands reversed and nine of wands upright. Did you start ignoring them and let them go? If you did, that really hurt them. I ain't connecting to this one either. I'm going to say something crazy. Did you start ignoring them? And like, if you did, that really bothered them. Now they're trying to let you go. Their intent is to let you go because they feel like you have let them go is what the way it comes up to me. I even got for some, I just got, I want to end me from Billy Eyelash. You know that song by Billy Eyelash? Will you go the fuck away? All right, who the fuck is this? Okay, will you go the fuck away? Um, you know what I get? I just got Billy Eyelashes, I want to end me. They may have had it to, ooh, S U I. C I D A L is that how you spell. I probably spelled, probably spelled that all wrong, but they may have had thoughts like that. Is that yes? S U I C I D A L is that how you spell it? Oh Lord, Jesus. Well, thank you, Barbie. I take good pride in them. Thank you. She said your teeth are incredibly white. Thank you so much. I'll give you a second look. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. We feel good. All right. If you started to ignore them and you just like, so their intentions really is to let you go because they think that you let them go. So they're like, okay, well, I ain't got no choice but to let it go. I use whitening toothpaste. What's the outcome for these two? Some type of decision being made. In the case this was a triangle thing, some of you, they regret that. If it's a triangle, they regret choosing that. If not, 
I get a final decision is made to not reunite. Like they're just going to just try to get over you. So you need to take whatever you know is your story. All right. Didn't really want to be your lover. I get messages, possibly messages. Messages, possibly. What an interesting read. There's no interest thing at Tyler's Tarot, but a very crazy read. Person's really um, in the, <clears throat> they're really in the dumps about you. They're really in the dumps about you. All right, let's go to Gemini now. I hate that I love you. I hate that I love you. <laughs> Oh, I'm having ticks. I want a TV show so goddamn bad that way I can get off of YouTube and just make TV money. All right. My ear is still bad. I'm I'm deaf in one ear. Not fully deaf. I can still hear out of it, but it's it's clogged. It's got pressure. And I'm gonna go to a, I'm gonna go to a telemed appointment tomorrow. Because I'm gonna go deaf and I don't know how I'm gonna live with my life being I don't wanna be somebody's Helen Keller. I really don't. Mm. God, I took my hearing for granted. Now I make you realize how how important hearing is. Thanks, Jessica Bola, as always. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much. Jesus, oh my hearing back. It's been six days I've had muffled hearing in this ear. I'm gonna go to a I'm gonna go to a doctor. What did I just say? Here we go. Let's go to Gemini now. Gemini, what are this person's true intentions towards you? What is this person's true intentions towards you? How long does yours last? Temp? How long does yours your episodes last? Uh, to Tamira. I've never had this happen before because I had allergies bad, a sinus thing. I have never, I've never heard of your ear being clogged because your nose. That's crazy. See, I don't know much about medical shit, so I'll let you know how much I know. Oh. Oh. Well, if they, you know, your person has another person in their energy. They also, they could even have mental problems or multi-personality. I don't know. I'm not nobody's doctor, obviously, but let's see. Okay. Why is that there? They're all about drama. They are so dramatic. Do you want to compete with this person? For, sorry, with, I didn't mean to say, well, some of it's with, but do you want to compete for this person? I think not, right? Do you want to compete for them? Do they have options? Are they... Hard to achieve? Are they hard to obtain? And then they try to get you to bet. Like, see, this person wants you to chase them. They want you to think that they're this big admired person that needs to be chased and to be conquered. And do you have time to do that? Why the moon card? Secretly, they can't move on from you. But what they want from you is a chase. They want you to admire them. This person's all about attention, getting attention. All right. There's no a little at Tyler's Tarot. This is the story, Molly. You're probably a good subscriber. I'm not going off, but there is no little here. All right. I'm going to give you what the hell? Are those your hooters? My God. Lady, sit down and let me do the read. Would you sit down?
There's no, don't tell me what's not your story. All right. Okay. Listen to me. Some of this is a businesswoman, businessman. If not, right now they're focused on work and stuff. But I get for some of you, they have people either around them or a person they're with or around them to the least. And I feel like they got, honestly, I feel like they want to chase from you. I think that they want to make you think that they're shutting you down or they don't want you for you to chase them. And who knows where that chase would even lead to? Because I feel like, honestly, secretly they can't move on or secretly they, they want to deal with you. But I think this person's too much drama. I think it's you don't need somebody that wants you to chase them and, and, and admire them and give them attention. I think this person likes attention. I also think that they want you to think that they're competition or they want you to think there's this energy of you having to compete for them. Like they want to feel important is what I'm trying to say. All right. <laughs> Y'all so funny. I don't, you know, you, you know, you know why you don't want it to be your story because you don't want to believe that your person's a fucking twat or an ass white. That's why you don't want to believe it. No, they're the best thing since. Oh, shut up. Best thing since the crack of my ass. Don't tell me what the best thing since what. Now you want to believe that some bastard or a bitch is the best thing you've ever had, and that's not the truth. It's not the truth. Not the truth. I think there's people around them or competitors, people they talk to online or through a messenger or through a Instagram, through something. I don't feel like this person is sitting there alone. All right. Or at least optionless. I don't get that. All right. That's what I feel. I feel like this is somebody that wants you to chase after them. They want to feel like they're important. They want attention. All right. No, 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 no. You're in denial, lady or gentleman. Do I feel like they'll do things towards you in the future? Absolutely. I just feel like they're a big game player. I feel like they want you to chase them. They want to feel admired. All right. They have options more than likely from getting that heavily. All right. Let's see. Here we go. How does this person feel about Gemini? I don't know if you told them about their, your childhood trauma or if they have childhood trauma, like abandonment issues, mommy, daddy issues. That's still not an excuse to act like a childish ass adult. Some of you, they question if you have somebody else. They, Some of you, they want to know if you're involved, whether you are or not. I get somebody else in this energy. I'm sorry. Look, I search for you and others so I can feel close to you again. Look, right there. This person's dealing with... See... They fucked y'all's two connection up. Listen to the story before you jump to the conclusions. Don't jump to conclusions on here. So they fuck things up with you. They know you're a great option for them, a great potential. But it's like they can't stop with their games and uh, multiple people. Uh, the the you know so I'm saying. And unfortunately, see what's you know what their karma is going to be searching searching for you and other people. You'll move on. You'll find somebody for you, but their karma will be them searching for you and other people. What they can't get from others, though, what they got from you, they can't get in others. Isn't that a strange way to reap what you sow? Now, obviously, this could be switched, and this could be how a Gemini is going to have to deal with things like to a sort of cross watcher. But I get one story and I feel like this person is dramatic. I feel like they're full of drama. I feel like there's people around them or they have options. I feel like they want to, they want you to chase them. They want to feel admired. They want your attention. All right. Um, secretly they can't move on, but they, it's like the game is more important and the options are more important. But I think that karma for them will be having to search for you and others, what they got from you, they can't find in others. All right. And they'll realize what they, it, basically not realizing what you had until it's gone. All right. So that's literally what I get. I know you don't like the story. I, I got to tell you what I get, not what you want me to get. All right. What's the outcome for these two? I don't feel like it's fully over, though. 
a missed opportunity. Folks, will y'all listen to me when I say things? Y'all don't listen to nothing I say no more. Y'all get on here to talk shit and to call me all kinds of whores and sluts, but not listen to the story. You got Rupert uh, putting fat pictures up of me, even more fat pictures. Come on. The outcome is them missing an opportunity. Let's go to cancer. Shut up. If you scream, how will how will we listen? Well, you can fast forward past the scream and listen. You also can kiss the crack of my ass. It's pretty silent down there, so you should be able to hear down there, down in the crevice of my ass. All right, it's pretty silent. You won't have to do much, you know, squinching to hear or nothing. It's pretty silent down there. You can do that too. All right, you choose. All right, that's an obvious question. You're asking something so obvious. You fast forward past the part where I scream. All right. Okay. Let's go to cancer now. All right. Let's go to cancer. Let's go to cancer now. <laughs> All right. <laughs> uh. I'm glad you I'm glad you made it, Christine. And thank you for saying that, honestly, Christine M. All right. All right. For cancer, what is this person's true intentions toward cancer? The person on their mind, what is this person's true intentions toward cancer? <laughs> What's a small stuff? In Wow. Nine of wands reversed. Ten of wands reversed. Five of wands reversed. They don't want the drama no more with you. Right off the bat. Is this to open up, upright, or reverse to let it go? Open up, upright, reverse. So they know there's a happily ever after with you. This person wants to tell you that they love you. They want to tell you that they see you in their future. They see you being a part. They want to let go of the burden that they've been carrying, this burden of feelings they've been harboring and just tell you that they want to be with you. I tell my husband's right next to me. Well, go be with him. You already done made that. You already made the, the, the co commitment. Then why are you talking? He already, he already confessed or your wife already confessed. They love you. They put a ring on it. Are you, so I'm saying, why are you talking to me? Would you please shut up? Would you please shut up and put a picture up so I can go off on your dumb ass? All right. This person, Cancer, wants the opening. They pull three cards of opening up. This person wants to open up and tell you, like, hey, I want to be with you. I see us together. I want to be with you. It's like almost like they want to re like release the burden. The burden is their feelings they've been carrying, harboring. The person has a lot. I don't know if this is somebody new or old. I don't know. Let's see. How does this person feel about cancer? They can't stop thinking of you. They think about the feelings they had, had, have. They're scared. They think about telling you how they feel and they go, nope, I can't, I can't. They're scared. Some of them are afraid you don't like them the same way or that you don't feel the same way. Look at this, look at this, look at this. Look at this one storyline. You have a bitch that the dam is about to break. They're so ready to tell you like they want to be with you.
Is this a mutual cancer? I'm, I'm sure it could be. I'm sure it could be. What's the outcome in this situation? Empress Reverse, which talks about a lack of growth. Why? Three of Cups. You could reunite or go out with this person at some point. Some of you hope there's not another person in this situation. Hopefully not. I got a possible conversation between you two. Somebody else still may remain cold and distant. Hopefully they express it, but I'm here to tell you there's a person. I don't get that their intentions are bad. I feel like their intentions is to tell you how they feel. Their intentions is to be with you more than what you think they want to be with you. You know, this says, I always wanted to have more with you. This person always wanted more with you. All right. It's open up, be with you. They imagine you two being like in a relationship, married, or in a long term commitment. All right. They can't get you out of their head. They think about you 24 7. All right, how does this person feel about you? Like, it's like they just want unfinished business to be over and like you two have a talk or to talk it out or to say something. This person feels like unfinished business with you. Some of, the, some of you, if they haven't made much moves, they could wait to see what you do first and then eventually they'll pounce if you don't, all right? But I get, honestly, a, a conversation or possible reunion or going out is what it's saying. Hopefully not another person in the mix. I'm hoping not like another person. Hopefully not, right? Y'all are so funny. Let's go to Leo now. What? Oh, let me ask my psychics. Okay, what's the true intentions of the person on my mind right now? And I'll read your predictions back after the live, all right? Because y'all sometimes pick up on my shit. Y'all creepy. It's like y'all, there's been times I've, I've thought that people were like, I'm like, how do they know that shit? Okay, here we go. Ah. <laughs> okay. All right. Thanks. Let's go to uh All right. Uh, I cannot say some things right now. How do y'all do that? Okay. All right. Let's go to uh, Virgo. Wait, wait, wait. What sign are we doing? Leo, right? Wait, wait. What sign are we on? I got sidetracked. Sorry. Leo. Okay, got you. Okay, here we go. All right. All right, for Leo, the person on their mind, what is this person's true intentions toward Leo? I turn my chin music up and I'm puffing my chest. I'm turning red in the face and can call me obsessed. It's not your fault that they hover. I mean, no disrespect. It's my... What the hell? This person gets jealous of other people around you? Jealous. They're jealous. Now, I don't know what that means, but let's see. I mean, I know what jealousy means. What I mean is I don't know what they're jealous of, but let's see. Okay, here we go. Cause I don't like the way he's looking at you. Cause I'm starting to think you want him too. 
I cannot sing today because my I can't hear myself sing. Lord Jesus, here we go. What is this person's true intentions toward Leo? Right now they're not doing shit. They they decide to stay non-communicative. The fool. They're right. They're, they want to be around you so goddamn bad. They miss you. They want to be with you. <laughs> Jealous bitch. Doesn't want to. I think they're afraid you're going to find somebody else before they can get you, before they can keep you, get you, whatever the case may be. This bitch wants to take a leap into this. What a fool. They don't want that opportunity to be missed. Some of you, this bitch already rejected you, whether it's verbally rejected you or just their actions rejected you. Some of you, they fear you rejecting them now. Ooh. I do remember that, Katie. I just got in my head. I don't think I'm finished torturing you yet. Some of they fear you rejecting them. I got full four of cups. Like they'd rather just like not deal with it just in case you reject them. Like they don't want that. But they can't move on from you. Six of swords reversed. So not bad intentions. They just don't want to, let's see. They're wanting to work on this and come back to you, stick with you wherever, wherever they are. Like, I feel like they, they definitely want, but I get this energy. Why the four of cups and full? Four of swords. It's almost like they're kind of like, wait, should I stay on a break from this? Or should I at least attempt to do something? What if I get rejected? Or what if they don't want this? Something like that. How do they think you feel about them? Let's see. They feel like, they think that you think that they're like flighty or inconsistent, like a playboy, playgirl. Oh, so they left you with that impression. Now they think maybe you won't, you don't want to deal with them because this is how you feel about them. Does that make any sense? It could be any sign because all the signs, I got Aries, Sag, air sign. So what's their intentions? What do they want from uh, Leo? Person does want you. I just feel like they think you're going to get rejected. What's their intentions? They want to tell you a secret? Look. Look at this. Secret coming out, four pentacles of verse opening up about it. They want to tell, what's the secret they want to tell? Who gives a fuck? They want to like message you. Like they want to tell you, I don't, it's not telling me, I think it's going to be different for all. They also want to tell you like they could never let you go. Like I think that they will, if they spoke, you know what they would say? They would say, really, I could never let you go. Like I never let you go. I never, doesn't that sound so romantic? My nipples are getting hard. My moves feel hard nipplishness. Because the truth is, baby, I never let you go, bitch. But it's unromanticize it by adding the bitch part, but you get the point. Lord, my nipples are hard. Have y'all two fuck, or is there a potential to fuck there? Like, what's going on? Got me all horny. Got my moves all hard nippled. Like, what's going on up in this bitch? You see what I'm saying? <laughs> I literally get what they would tell you is, I know this sounds crazy, but I think they're very romantic-minded about you, even if you don't believe that. I feel like one thing they would say if they said it, like if their mind, if they spoke their mind, it would say something like, like I never let you go. I'll never let you go. I never did let you go. I never will let you go. Something like that. They said they want to reveal a secret. I think they want to tell you how they feel like that, that they never let you go, that they're not letting you go, something like that. Here we go. Some of this person may have addictions or they, uh, if it's not an addiction, they feel like this is an addiction that they can't let go of. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this.
Let me thank my super chatters real quick. Thanks, Jessica Bola, and thanks, Sarah Bellum, for that. Thank you. What's the outcome between these two hoes? What's the outcome? Something's going to happen between you two slowly. It'll, there's a slow, like, eventual thing that's going to take place. Like, I don't feel like this is done. Nowhere near being done. You know what? If some of you stick around or at some point, this could be something that actually comes into fruition. All right. Is what I, feel. I don't feel like this is over. But some of you are still a possibility, whoever this is, if that makes any sense. Slow, but I get it happening. All right. Who gives a fuck? what the outcome is. Obviously, you do. You're watching it, right? <laughs> I'll be right back. I'm going to have to take a quick break, and I'll be right back. First of all, I never understood why people go back and forth for that long, like the notebook did. Stay the fuck out of my life. No, if it didn't work the first time, I'm a, I'm a typical Aries. If something don't work initially, I don't want to do it again. That's why four love confessions in the year 2024. Why are you telling me now? What am I supposed to do about that? Good for you. Do you want a cookie? What am I supposed to do about that? Why didn't you strike while the iron was hot? I don't do notebook. It. There's no notebook at Tyler's Tarot. All right. Okay, I'll be right back. I'm back. Let's go to uh, Virgo now. So what is this person's true intentions toward Virgo? No, I don't live in a doll house. I'm a little too big to be a doll. All right. This this living room, I have big windows. This is the only, this living room has the small windows. Why are you worried about my living room for? Look, they're small, but they got bigger ones too. See, see, even up there they got bigger ones. Look, up there there's the bigger windows. A lot of people say dollhouse windows. <clears throat> okay, here we go. Okay. All right, 
how does it okay so what is this person's true intentions toward virgo Thank for the two kingdom of hearts. Thank you. If you make money, watch your pockets with them. They're like a money grubber. If not, if you know that's not even possible, listen to this next part. Um, they do want a second chance. Why is the King of Pentacles reversed though here? They've tried to get you off their mind by focusing on work and stuff. So I'm not a bad intended person. I think they're trying to heal, but they have this. I think they have this constant urge to have a second chance with you. Like no matter how much they try to ignore you, no much no matter how much they try to stay busy, um, to not think of this, they always like go back to the urge of, or they always think back to, or they always have the urge to have a second chance. Even though they feel like it won't grow, they're like, okay, I still want to see where it could go the next time. Okay. How does this person feel about Virgo? What's her intentions? Intentions. I still get there's a little bit of like, some of this person has a little bit of insecurities about how you do better than them. So clearly, if you feel like this person does better, this ain't your story. They may have like a little, I get like a hater slash lover vibe. Like they don't like you doing better than them. It's very specific. And you don't react the way they want you to react. And that bothers them. All right. So they may have tried to throw games your way or take shots at you, whether online or in person. And you just don't fucking react the way they'd like you to. All right. Very specific story. They played these games and they're aware of the games they played. Like they don't deny playing games. Like I feel like they kind of are highly aware of, you know, some people like they, they play the games and they try to like act like they wouldn't. But this one knows that they were kind of being kind of harsh. It's, it's to some degree to you. All right. I'm a very specific story. I feel like they try to stay busy to not think about you two's disconnect about whatever happened. Whatever happened, they try to stay busy or focused on work. All right. But they have this like undying desire to have a second chance with you. Like they don't want to stress about this no more. What's the outcome for these two? There's something about you that, um, yeah, they could be a little bit of a player. Yeah, three of cups. There could be a get together, a reunion. I'd be careful with them. I get like, some of you, they were the reason this, the, I get they played games. They could have player-like tendencies, male or female. And realizing that they caused the issues, like, but the question is, will they change? That's the question. And no, they won't. Like, they're going to sit here and try to have another chance with you at some point, only to not even change. So what's the point of the second chance? That's, the, what, I, that's what I'm asking. So I'm saying, or that's what I'd ask if you deal with them in the future or now, like if you don't plan to change, why would we have a second chance? You get what I'm saying? So, but they do, uh, I'll tell you this, they try to stay busy to not think about the fallout of you two. All right. Two of Cups reverse tells me there's some type of fallout. For a small, tiny portion, if this is a newer connection, they're, they're worried about the fallout of something else, another connection. That's why they seem clocked out with you. All right. Y'all stop worrying about how my house is designed. You wish you could afford this house for the ones that are hating. All right. This house costs more than your whole entire life. All right. And it's already went up like $70,000 in value since I've lived in it. So uh, get a house like this, then complain it. Then, then give me critiques about it. All right. 
have the does your house have a movie? Does your house have a movie theater? No. Does your house have a pool and jacuzzi? No, probably not. All right. So get a house like does your does your house have four bedrooms and three bathrooms? No. All right, probably does. Could yeah. But get your get my type of house and then talk your shit. All right. Uh, okay. And I live in a very like a nice area. So achieve this and then talk about my house. All right. Okay. All right. Well, good luck with that, uh, Virgo. I keep seeing people say, no, get a designer or windows too small. Well, get a, get a house. Well, first of all, you ain't got to pop the piss in or a window to throw it out of. All right. Okay. Let's go to Libra now. These hoes, they wake up, they broke. They mattresses be on the flow. <laughs> Got that from that Bad Baby song. These hoes be dick riders, think they gonna come up because they let you fuck. These hoes be full of drama. They always with the extra for the few that are talking this junk. Like I said, get what I have and then talk your junk, all right? I got in a fight over my house once. I had a company thing. I ain't gonna say too much because they sent me a nasty email because uh, they thought that they were being talked about. Well, here you're being talked about. I ain't gonna say any names, but I got in a literal fight talking about my house. It was a friend, you know, he got here, he was hanging out, and he started talking about my house. And I said, Okay, do you wanna buck up? I got this fast. I said, Is there something you wanna say? Or do I said? Did I not tell you to stop talking about my house? I said you ain't got a house like this. Do you? And so literally, so okay, all right. People don't think I can't get crunk, and I and I proved that to him that night. You didn't. You see, you didn't step up. You cowered your ass down. All right. Okay. Let's go to Libra now. Libra. Let's, let's do this. Libra, what is this person's current intentions toward you? I did go crazy. Sure did. All right. Want to talk to you, be up front, talk to you. I don't like this person. They play too many games. They got bad intentions. They just want a game. What a king of swords. Okay. They do think of you. All right. So you are on their mind pretty frequently, I would say. All right. What a five of swords. Temperance reversed. You know what? Did you stop playing into their games? Now they want you to play into the games. You're not doing it, is what I feel. All right. Um, what are your actions toward them right now? So you're not even really right now. Some of you are just keeping your options open because this one just doesn't seem to be kind of going the way you want it to. You wanted it to. I don't think this person has good intentions. I think they got bad intentions. I think they play too many games. You're not going to be able to get through to them. They're just too much of a game player. All right. Seven, sorry, uh, five of swords. They also have what you don't know is they got a mental issue too. What you may, um, they may even have like a bipolar problem or like a personality problem or even a mental issue. I get that they have some of you, they have a temper problem. I don't know if you've seen that yet or not, but this bitch could go off if they really, you know, <laughs> that's really what I get. They're very a damaged person. All right. And here's the here's what look. You're not the only one. I just got in my head. You're not the only one this was you're not the only one this person's done this to. They have like they've pushed a lot of folks away. And so the way that they do it, the way they treat their object of affection, I will that would be you. Um 
is that they tend to push the people away. They act very brash or dismissive. And it's like they fuck up things before, you know, like before it can even mature or get better or whatever the case may be. Does that make any sense? Some of you just made me, okay. I don't know if you are popular or if they feel like you could have anybody. Why would you want them type energy? All right. So there may be an element of that, whether you're a pop. Some of you are popular. There's, that puts them in a pessimistic mind frame. If not literally popular, the way I take that as is they feel like you could have so much better than them. So why would you want them? Is the way I take that. All right. Look at this. This person's kind of weird. Are they masochistic? Is that the word for it? Like where they what? They're like a glutton for punishment. They didn't think you two would even really last or really go anywhere. That attract it attracted what attracted them to the situation is they they're attracted they're attracted to things they know will fail. The fuck is this talking about? At least the stories are different today. This is damaged confessions. I get that question all the time. Damaged confessions. What is this person's future intentions toward Libra? Trying to get over you. So they're not over you. And why is the King of Swords their intentions? I get there's going to be a point where they try to let their guard down a bit. But that's not, no, that won't last with them because I feel like they're too inconsistent. I think they got a mental problem. I think some, I don't know if you've seen their temper yet, but they got a crazy temper that, that would come out over time. I don't know if you've seen it. I don't know if you already have or if you haven't, but over time you would see that. Like they got a lot of problems that you would start to see as time would unfold. What's the outcome between these two? This is not a good intended person. I think you need to let this person go. They got too many problems that you can't help them with. Yeah. And there may be a player too, all right, that keeps you trapped. So I'd watch out for them. All right. I really would not give them the time of day if this is your story. If you feel like I connected to a lot of this, this may not be your person. All right. Not. Let's go to Scorpio. I loved Connecticut when I went. I almost moved to Connecticut, but I was like, I don't want to live up north with them northern bitches. You know what I'm saying? But I almost moved to Connecticut. I was looking at houses in Connecticut. I like the weird, trashy vibe of Connecticut. I liked it. Let's go to Scorpio. I moved to Vegas because of the trash. I love the trashiness of Vegas. All right. But see, Vegas capitalizes off its trash, trash history. Like it embraces its trashiness. All right. So I love about it. All right. Let's go to uh, Scorpio. What is this person's true intentions towards Scorpio? Lovers reverse. Some of you watch out. They just don't want your sex. If it's somebody newish or this the sexual with. If not, let's see what else unfolds. Chariot. Seven of Cups reversed. Why is that their intentions towards you? They want to clear the air. Why the lovers reversed? They want to give up on this failed union, like they, but they don't feel they haven't fully given up on it. It still feels fresh to them, whether how far back or how new it is. All right. Some of this person could be at a long distance from you. If they're not, they're just being distant right now. But I get at some point. Why that? They're going to reveal to you they want a commitment with you. You're the choice they want. If they had options, you're the choice they think is the best. If it's not that they have options, they just know they want you. Like they're starting to realize they want you. This should have been all signs of their current feelings because it's basically just talking about their feelings. 
what happened in the tw- in the past between you two bitches? There was some bread coming going on, wasn't there? And manipulation, wasn't it? They were bread coming you before, right? I wish I had my own show, Kelly. That'd be nice. So their future actions is, sorry, future intentions is to move this forward and reveal to you they want a commitment. So maybe they didn't reveal it before, but I guess they want to. So whether they reveal it for real or not, I feel like their intentions is to reveal it. Whether they do it, that's a whole nother story for a whole nother time or a whole nother reading. It says the outcome you two like basically reuniting or dating some of you, but I get this energy of clearing, they want to clear the air with you. What is the outcome? Some of you, some of you, what's going to happen is the messages will lack. Some of you, it may not happen like that because the messages will either be on and off or lack, like a lack of messages is what it's saying. Some of you may even get to a point where you just forget about this and just focus on you. All right. But there's an intent there for them to tell you how they feel, that they want a commitment, that they want to clear the air, some of you an apology. All right. Or something like that. Let's see what the green cards say. They've had tears over you. I don't care how hard you think they are. This bitch has sat and cried like a little bitch over you, male or female. That hoe done cried over you. They have regrets. Some of you, they feel like they made the wrong choice, whether if, if a person or a wrong choice to not act right. Obsessed. They watch you too. They may look at photos y'all two hoes took together. They may creep the people in your life to see who you're around. They could do all kinds of things. Jealous, can't move on. Stalker, screenshots, fake profiles. They may make fake profiles to interact with you in a fake way. All right. Very obsessed person. Don't don't let the facade fool you. They're very obsessed. The whore can't get you off their mind. All right, let's go to uh let's go to Sagittarius. I just got I'm giving you up. I forgive it you all. <laughs> you set me free. If you're being given up, they're giving you up. Send my love to you new. Somebody may have a new lover. Or somebody will. That's not tarot saying that. That's just something that came up to my head when I, you know, what sign are we doing? Sagittarius, okay. Thank you. All right. What is this person's true intentions towards Sagittarius? In three cards, what is this person's true intentions towards Sagittarius? I was supposed to already be in Georgia. I, I was supposed to already be in Georgia yesterday, but I got sick. What is this person's true intentions towards Sagittarius? Well, thank you, Madeline Lee. Oh, my God, they're sitting there waiting. They, they thought in the future about you. Whoever this is, they thought into the future about you, too. Yeah. Uh-huh. Bitch. Uh-huh. Woo! Lover boy. Lover girl. Oh, my God. When are they just going to... When are y'all two going to fucking get it over with and get married? Because you bitches... Woo. See, they also have, I don't know if they'll reveal this, but they actually have same-sex attraction too. I want to let you know that for a small portion. Only if you had that suspicion. Don't take it if you, all right? The person loves the fucking flip out of you.
they got my symbol, if you're wondering why I said that. What I get is, oh my God, this person's intent is to, they're seeing far off into the future of you two. Far off. Like they're harboring all these like love feelings for you. So it's a water sign, fire sign. They have some self-esteem issues. They feel like a, you know, sometimes some of you, this person has to like fake it that they're confident, but they're really not. All right. Look. They hold so much inside. I think it's their feelings for you they hold inside. They don't really reveal them, all right? Like they should, like honestly, if they revealed their feelings to you, you would know the full on, full on, like the, how much they love you, how much how, how they see into the future with you. Now they do like when you get jealous. They may have tried to play jealousy games to see how, to gauge your interest. I think they gauged your interest by acting like they had stuff going on to make you jealous, all right? I don't know how they did that, or maybe they're going to do that. I don't know. But this person has a lot of emotions for you. They've been, some of you right now, they've been waiting on you, three of wands. They could have been waiting on something from you. But otherwise, the way I see that is they see into the future with you. All right. Whoa. This person has genuine feelings for you. Genuine. It's not fake. It's genuine. It's the outcome between these two. Either they can't let go of their past or you won't let go of yours. Somebody's past is too, you know. I'm also getting the lack of communication could bother y'all too. What could fuck you two bitches up is the lack of communication. That I'm um, How are you two going to be together if you don't communicate? What are you going to do? Be together in the ether? Or are you going to wait till you both croak out and you'll be together over there in the, in the afterlife or at the pearly gates? What are you going to do? You two don't speak. What are you going to do? Speak sign language because you don't speak verbally. So what's going on? What are you going to do? Telepathically speak? So I don't understand how this connection could become a thing if you two don't communicate. I don't understand how that would work, but that's for you to figure out, not for me. So, all right. I don't feel ready to be with someone like you. Some of there's a part of them acknowledging that they don't feel, maybe you feel a little bit too above their grade or I don't know. Look, it just said it again. It just said it again. What? Sagittarius, this person holds you in high regard. Look. They got self-esteem problems. Remember I told you at the beginning that deep down they feel like a little like a loser. I don't know what for. It's just saying the same narrative back to back. So what that tells me is this person may feel like, why would you want them? Like, why would you want them? Is something they say to themselves. Like, why would Sagittarius want me? All right. I don't know why. I don't know why they feel that way. I don't know if it's due to money or what they make or what, where they're at in life. I don't know. I just feel like there's a little bit of, um, yeah. So, What's the, okay, so yeah, so outcome says no messages and thinking about each other, but no messages. I even get both of you getting better that the messages are not happening. Does that make does this make any sense for anybody or the communication? All right, whether you are in communication or not, let's get communication making you both better. The lack of or the very little. All right, so there's that's how I feel. Bye, see ya. Let's go to Capricorn now. Okay, here we go. I might go turn my I'm gonna go turn my jacuzzi on. I'm gonna get in the jacuzzi tonight. Damn it. Maybe that'll help my ear. I ain't think about that. Let's go turn the jacuzzi on, folks. I'll, go, I'll take you with me. Fuck a intermission. You can't let a bitch like that make you leave, son. Fuck that, son. I got you. I got you. Alexa is my hot tub ready. <laughs> wow, it's 
is a mess. I got to make sure I cover it up. Your name is Jacuzzi. How's your name Jacuzzi? Let's see. Oh, look at the wind. The w oh, let's fuck my pool up again. Look at the wind. I hate wind. You didn't ask me. And mess my fucking pool up again. Look at all this debris in the pool. Can't even see it really, but right, look at that. He just cleaned that out and it's already fucked up. My pool guy cleaned it. I mean, he cleaned it so good and now it's already fucked up. Well, a bug just flew him. Let's see. We'll turn the jacuzzi on. Give me one second. I thought I'll take y'all with me. Okay. Did it show my ass? <laughs> Did you just show my ass? What can it? Don't show my ass. I hate when it does that. Did y'all see a? <laughs> okay. Is it going to work? Yeah. I think it should be on. Is it on? We turn the heater on. We'll put it on 100. I tried to get in there at 104 one time. I was burning up. Oh, yeah, I love my house. Is it on? It is. I think it is. Wait, why is the waterfall on? Is it spazzing again? Let me see. Should I put the bubbles on or bubbles off? Bubbles on or bubbles off? Well, thank you for the thank you for the compliments. We'll turn the bubbles on. Okay. Let's see. Why is it doing that? See, I'm so sick of this. This is why I can't stand spring. Look at my pool. How fucking mad. He just cleaned this pool. Look, literally, like spick and span cleaned it, right? And look now. Look at it. Mess. Pure mess. It looks like it never been cleaned. Because they come out once a week, they clean it really good. What is a bird? We got the jacuzzi on. I don't want to fall in the pool. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. We got the jacuzzi. <laughs> I got like a resort looking backyard on a like. Okay, here we go. Yeah, I'm showing off because I'm cool like that, all right? I didn't have this at one time, damn it. <laughs> I didn't have this at one time. Why are these bugs everywhere? Want to sit and have a cigarette with me real quick? I think I just showed some ass. Whoa. Oh, it's my dick show? Oh, no, it's not. Okay, because I thought I had on them ones that have the slit. And I don't have no underwear on right now. Look at that. I'm shaped like a gallon of milk. Yo, I'm shaped like... I think when I chose my body before I incarnated, they said, what style body you want, Mr. Tyler? I'm shaped like a gallon of milk. Okay. Got the bug spray just in case these hoes want to pop off. I can't wait to get in now. One second, we're gonna get to Cap. We're on Capricorn, right? Thank you. Appreciate that. 
I can't hear still. I'm not going to hear, but it's still clogged. You don't think I'm going deaf, do you? Skinny. Where do you see skinny? Ain't no skinniness in that. So. I'm so pissed off about that pool. He cleaned the fuck out that pool. And look at it now. Because of those, that damn tree. In spring. Every time spring comes, my pool gets messy. Because of all the things falling off the, the leaves. I am six foot. I'm a 5'11 and a half. I might as well be six foot. If I wear the right shoes, I'll be six foot. I can't put a pool cover over that. Look at the shape of that pool. I'm scared of the shark in there. The only place I feel safe is the jacuzzi because I feel like there's no shark can fit in there. Let's go do this. Let's go do this. Let's go. This damn freaking pollen and debris. I can't stand bees and bugs. And, I pay a lot for to get my pool clean. Not a lot, but I pay them monthly, and they do a great job. But it, hell, last week he was here. I said, "Sorry for all the debris." He says, "I know." He said, "It's springtime." He said, "I said I'm not the only one where the pool is messed up like that." He goes, "No." He says, "It's very common this time of year." I said, "Okay, good." So, all right. The girls popped. Someone said, what happened to the girls? The little floating balls, they popped. They popped. Because <sighs> the, the temperature changed. I missed the girls. I'm about to buy some more. But yeah, they popped. All right. Okay. Let's go. What sign? Yeah. What, what sign are we doing? Yes, menthol. I know it's not good for me. I know. Capricorn. All right, here we go. Capricorn, what? Uh... No, nobody tries to speak Spanish to me. Even Spanish people don't claim me, so... <laughs> Not really. They can come up and speak English to me. So, all right, here we go. All right. Gotcha, Sandra. Thanks for saying that. Okay. What is this person's intentions toward Capricorn? Chariot. To move forward in some way. They want a new beginning. They don't want. Okay, so whether you're around this person or not, they just want a new beginning. They want things to change, all right, if that makes any sense to you. High Priestess Reverse, things to come out. Is it something they want you to come out with or upright them? They want to come out with something. What do they want from you? You would think I'm crazy. Capricorn, they want to know if you've been upset about them. They sit and wonder if you've been upset or if you've been in the blues like they have. They want to know if you truly don't care or if you do care. All right. I know that sounds crazy. So they may be sitting here going, do they even care anymore? Is what I kind of get. Um, How does this person feel about Capricorn?
I'm so in love with you. I totally fucked that up. Sorry, Al Green. Bye, see you. Have a good one, right? I don't know why they feel like this. Some of you, they feel like you're materialistic, male or female. Some of you, they feel like they should bring their A game a bit better than they, what they were before. Some of they wonder if they have what it takes to like keep you or to, to make you happy. If that makes any sense, male or female. They're still in love with you. They never stop loving you. They're only with somebody because they don't, don't want to be in that. Only take that if it makes sense. I feel like that's going to throw a lot of you off. But if they are with somebody or if there's somebody they primarily deal with, they're only, out, they're only with that out of convenience. You could have addictions. They don't have to. All right. Maybe their addiction to this is what the problem is. They're addicted to you. For some of you, there's a person they may deal with primarily, but they're only with that out of convenience, not because of love. Even if they don't not with somebody, they just have options. I feel like they just deal with whatever's around. It's not like truly who they want. Their intentions is to have a new beginning with you. They also want to know if this tore you up like it tore them up. They want to know that. Who gives a fuck what they want to know, right? Outcome is they'll stick with you or they'll come back with you. It's the same outcome for a lot of stories today. They're obsessed with you. They jerk their dick or, or finger their pussy to you. Some of you, they like imagine like sucking that dick, sucking that dick. Or eating that puss. They think sexual thoughts. You think it's just trying to be funny. No, this is literally what I feel. And don't tell me that's not what I'm feeling, because that is. They'll be back. They're going to probably try to stick with you at some point. I don't care who they're with or if they're single. I don't care. You're going to be the one they choose eventually. But are you going to be available then? Uh, you know, who knows, right? Okay. Who gives a flying fuck? I'm tired of these triangle storylines, damn it. <laughs> really, Moonlight Pixie? Y'all are so y'all are so whorish. I see all these nasty. <laughs> uh. You know what? You gonna tell you a kink I have? You gonna think I'm crazy? Can I tell y'all a kink? You promise you ain't gonna judge me? Okay, I'll tell you. I'd like to watch a couple have sex. <laughs> it's not that I want to join necessarily, but it's just like very, what do you call it? Voyeuristic. It's very trash, you know? So I know that. <laughs> I'm so disgusting. Let me get off of here. Y'all need to y'all need to put a hold on this. Y'all need to honestly, you need to literally send a letter to your local administrators and local um uh what do you call it? Um centers and stuff to to ban Tyler's Tarot. All right. So <laughs> I 
No, watch people. I know what's going to happen. I shouldn't have said that. Let me tell you why I shouldn't have said that. What's going to happen is I'm going to get a bunch of emails saying, "Well, my husband and uh, my husband said you could watch, or my or my wife said you can you can watch." Okay, don't do it. All right. Okay, don't do it. <laughs> so embarrassed. I said that. All right, here we go. All right, let's do this. Let's do this. Dork sided. Please do not use that against me. If you see me out in the wild, don't say, well, uh, my boyfriend says you can watch us or my girlfriend says you can watch. Don't do that. All right. Don't do that. I'm kind of halfway fucking joking, to be honest. All right. Here we go. All right. Let's do this. <laughs> All right. We go. Let's do this. Let's go to Aquarius. What's this person's future actions? Sorry, future intentions. What is their intentions toward Aquarius? But I would never do stuff like that. That's just like me just talking shit. All right. Okay, here we go. I'm so stupid to say that. I gotta shut up. All right, here we go. <laughs> well, first off, they want uh some of you friends, they want to be your friend. If not, let's see. This person wants to be your friend or at least be cordial. They want messages. What do they want to achieve relationship wise? If that's the case, mm. they're kind of, okay. There's a person here that doesn't know what they want with you. Does that make any sense with you? I think they want communication. I don't feel like, okay, how are they going to come toward having a relationship with you if that's the case? I think this person wants to take it like, this feels like a newish person to me or someone that would like to just be cordial for the time being and see where things go. That's, what, that's the way it comes up. Now, I could be wrong. I think first and foremost, if you're not speaking with them, that's the first thing they want. Their intention is to speak or to communicate. But I think for some of you, this person would like to basically... Um, How did they act towards you before this read? Because I have to kind of get some context here. They just acted like they didn't want much with you before, did they? Yeah, I don't think this person knows what they want, really. To be honest with you, can we be totally front, 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 frank with you? I'm so stupid, dog. I swear. I don't think this person knows what they want. And it feels like some of you, I hope you don't get friend zoned or I don't know if it's like literally going to say, I don't know if they're literally going to say, I want to be your friend. I don't think it's that. I think it's more so, I mean, it could be, but I think it's more so they don't know what they want. So they'll kind of leave you kind of wondering what they want or right, what they're trying to get. They also have self-esteem issues as well, which keeps coming out today for some odd reason. All right. I need you to show me. See, this person wants you to prove that you're a worthy relationship potential. I think this person's kind of like, I don't know if they're, why are they so hesitant? I don't understand what's going on. Why are they so hesitant? Either due to a breakup they experienced, they're afraid of that repeating with you, or they're hesitant with you because of you two already had like a disconnect. Now you need to apply this how you can apply it. You're so stupid. Over 3,000 in the room. That's so stupid. <laughs> Y'all the trashiest people I ever met. I think they're invested to a degree, but I feel like for some of you, whether they're new or old, they need you to prove that, you know, that you're worthy of them or something like that. Like they want you to show them how work. So I'm going to put this in two different ways. If this is a new person. The reason why they're being hesitant with you is because of their breakup before you. Right. And they want you to prove that you're not going to end up like that last one that they dealt with. OK, that's the first method I get. If you have a history with this person and it's you that's talking about what that tells me is this. 
they're afraid of giving it another go because they're like not wanting it to turn out like it was before. They're afraid of that disconnect happening again. So they're very so they want they want to communicate with you. They want to like be cordial with you to a degree, but they're afraid of starting it again. Like there's two stories here. What is their future actions towards you? They're going to come towards you. Look, this keeps coming out. They're going to come back to you, stick with you, something like that, or whatever the case may be. This person's not done with you. I feel like they're just kind of like, ooh, they're going to offer you love too. Okay, if this is your story, I don't know if you got friend zoned or if you feel like they're not taking you serious. I don't know what it is that they did. What I will say is this person is emotionally invested in you, but the way it would come off like they're not are the fact they're hesitant. But they really have a thing for you. I think if over time they're going to tell you how they feel. All right, if this makes any sense. I don't understand how this would make any sense for anybody. Typical, typical Aquarius read. All right, so that's what I feel. All right, what's the outcome? A commitment. You, you whores will commit. Okay, if this is your story, you bitches are going to commit to each other. Eventually, they'll, they'll be with you or vice versa, whether they're new or old. You whores are going to be together. They're going to be two hoes together with one another. This is probably the best read so far. I don't know who it is, though. I don't know if they're new. I don't know if they're old. I don't know who they are. I just know that there's going to be a little bit of hesitation, and they may even either one friend zone you. If it's not that, they'll put you in a – they'll make you feel like they're not taking you serious or the connection serious or like they're not – like they're being hesitant. But look, over time, they offer their love. They stick with you, and there's commitment, all right? So let's go to Pisces now. I just saw somebody say, I ain't proving shit. You ain't got to, lady or gentleman. You ain't got to. Let's go to, let's go to Pisces now. What is this person's true intentions toward Pisces? I hope this reading gets over 100,000 views, like all my all signs do. But being that it's a different topic, I'm not sure if it'll get over 100,000. Anytime I do anything that's not who's coming toward you, what you need to know right now, or whatever comes out, they don't watch. But we'll see. What is this person's true intentions toward Pisces? You know what I'm noticing today? There's not a lot of bad intentions toward people today. I thought was, I thought there'd be more bad intentions, but there's like a lot of good intentions with a lot of people today. So what's their true intentions? Oh, my God. To offer you love. To be truthful. To Some of them want to be truthful about their feelings, whether they're new or old. Like this person wants to be vulnerable with you. They want to open up. They want to tell you how they feel. They want to, ooh, I don't like that, though. I should have not spoke too soon. They sabotage. This person's going to sabotage you two bitches. Why the five of swords? See, this person, when things get get to going good, they don't know how to act. Why the five of swords? Knight of swords. Nine of pentacles reversed. An empress. This is going to be another one that wants you to like chase after them. Even though they have a true thing for you, they just need you to prove. Prove it. Why is it that proving keeps coming out? Why is that there? I wonder. Why is that five of swords there? They're gonna make you fight for them to be with you. Like they want to, they want you to they want to see how dedicated you are to them. They have they, they're gonna sabotage it. I think there's true emotion this person has for you. I think they're gonna let their selves get in the way, their sabotage get in the way, and they're gonna sabotage it. I know I'm losing my grip on you and I'm panicking. So they already feel you kind of slipping away. To a degree. And I think I'll, there's a part of them that feels like you're slipping away and that kind of makes them want to come forward and be truthful to sp express emotions, but they can't get out of their own way. They also want you to see a more stable side of them, whether literal success that they want to achieve and then come back or just the stable side of them. 
I think why are the five of swords? How this person's why is that there? Some of you like I feel like they're they're planning how they're gonna come towards you. Some of you they're fighting within themselves, like to not return, but they keep feeling a need to return to you to some degree. All right. So this person's very in their head. I would say out of a lot of the signs I've read for, let see, look, they sabotage. If this gets fucked up, it's them that does it, not you. Don't blame yourself. Don't say, well, if I had did this, maybe if I said that a little bit more clearly. No, they fucked in it up. I don't know, Sensei. I, I guess just stay tuned or give me some ideas on there and, I, you know. What's the outcome for these two? Stress. Somebody's not doing what needs to be done. Look, stress because of there's no connection coming together or the lack of a connection, the fallout of one. They're not going to do what needs to be done. I think they're going to sabotage y'all two votes. I really do believe that. I'm going to stick with that too. I really believe that. And with that being said, you all have a good one, and I'll talk to you later. Bye, y'all. I'm going to go get in the jacuzzi now.